So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Footset Tech Lover, and uh, today we are going to continue our e-commerce setup using the WordPress and hosting that PH uh, hosting provider. In the last video, we discussed how to install WordPress on our website and the Astra team with the starter template and we started setting up our e-commerce store and today we are going to continue to design our home page and the product page and uh, some of the settings this is not yet a complete uh, video tutorial but it will be finished soon and you can start uh, building your e-commerce uh, store so if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel feel free to subscribe and uh, let's dive into it so go go back to your hosting plan i will teach you how to uh, install the wordpress uh, just like what i have uh, forgot in the last video it's very simple and easy uh, way so you need to log into your hosting uh, account and enter the authentication uh, once you're in code. your dashboard just go to uh manage and then select the select the uh, domain that you want uh, wordpress to be installed so go uh punta lang kayo sa baba sa ilalim and hanapin ang auto installer please select uh, wordpress and then enter your site name and then your administrator setting ito ang password nyo pag mag login kayo sa wordpress dashboard ng inyong uh, website and then click next and then you are set so the wordpress will be uh, installed soon so just remember your password so nandito na tayo ngayon sa ating dashboard sa wordpress so we will continue to design our uh, e-commerce store so let's try to see tingnan natin anong itsura ng ating e-commerce So, meron tayong dapat baguhin. Ito ang ating logo. So, edit with Elementor. Click edit with Elementor. We will edit the home page of our website. So, once you are in the dashboard of Elementor, uh, you can choose to uh, go to Pro version, which is a paid version. But uh, we'll just use the free version of uh, Elementor Page Builder. As you can see, uh, our site is looking better. But we need to change things a little bit. So click on the uh, Change it to full width. Then the height should be uh, putting a default and then stretch section. play around with this just click update and it will be saved you go to style we can uh, change uh, the background image if you want 
you can choose uh, uh, image like uh, you can uh, make a gallery of image or uh, something like a slider and when you click on hover kung gusto nyo uh, may bagong design sa hover um, pwede kayong uh, magdagdag like for example background type niya pwedeng uh, image din let's try uh, image para makita natin kung uh, ano ang maging itsura kung i-hover natin. Let's try this one. Just insert mid media. Okay, so that's it. When you click on the image on the home page, that image will appear. Right? You can choose also a color. What uh, what color? Uh, let's choose that one. When you click the image, it will be changed into the color. I think. I think. Uh, there you go. Pwede natin uh, gumawa ng slideshow. Uh, slideshow pala. So, magdagdag tayo ng gallery of images. Like, for example, uh, pili tayo ng images natin. Uh, yan, sapatos. Pagdagdag natin. So, pwede natin iset kung ilang segundo ang timer ng slideshow. So, pwede nating uh, dagdagan yung image. Dagdag pa tayo ng uh, kahit isa, kahit tatlo lang sila nga na mag-slideshow. So, meron na tatlong image. Alright. So, just click update. So, itong image na isa ay hindi nag -hover. So, anyway. Tanggalin natin itong isang image. Baka siguro yan ang dahilan. So, click update. Go to advance. Sa advance, makita natin yung mga margin. Margin sa taas, sa gilid, left and right, at sa ilalim. Yes, unlink. Para sa top, i-try natin. Ayun. Bumababa siya konti kapag uh, dinagdagan natin ng margin sa taas. Pag sa bottom naman, binawasan natin. So, sa taas naman siya. I just play this around. Kung ano ang inyong gusto. Sa padding naman, yung space uh, dito sa gilid. Yan, yan yung padding. Kung negative mo siya, ay uh, bababa siya. Then sa bottom naman, oh, nakita nyo, uh, pag itaas natin, uh, tumataas din yung ano, hanggang sa ilalim. Pero pangit kasi pag masyadong mataas ang padding sa ibaba. So dapat ano lang, ayan. Hindi rin masyadong uh, sobra I think that's it. Just click update.
So we need to change uh, the text or uh, for now, uh, para, para sa akin, okay na ang ano, ang uh, text. Ang link niya, isang yung shop now, ililink natin siya sa ating shop page. So punta tayo sa ating store, vitocart.com. Then, i-click mo ang store page. Yan. Then, kunin mo ang link. Copy mo lang. And then, i-paste mo dyan sa link. Asa ah, title pala yun. Ah, hindi pala sa button. Ganon din sa button. Ganon din ang gagawin. Then, sa uh, isa pang button, actually dalawa yan eh. Dalawang button. Sa stop now, at saka find more. I-delete mo lang yung hashtag sign. Then, i-paste mo lang yung link. Always remember. Pwede rin hashtag plus uh, hashtag, then type mo shop. And find more, ganun din, link ng shop page pa rin. Then, sa click to load page, ay NA. And then, just click update and it will be updated. So, i-edit naman natin itong button na isa. Ay, uh, bigyan natin sila ng konting space about isa. Dahil sobrang lapit nila. So, go to style. And, uh, bagyan natin ng, I think, uh, it's a, uh, Padding. Magwain muna natin pala ang uh, lahat ng font. So, dalawa lang dapat ang font sa website. Ang heading ay isa, then yung tinatawag na secondary font. So, huwag tayong gumamit ng more than two na font sa ating website para magkaroon ng tinatawag na consistency. So, ang gamit natin is poppins. And then, sa secondary ay yung secondary, halimbawa, yung main is raining offers for hot summer. Ang secondary niya is 25% off. So, ang opens ay raining offers. Yun ang pangalawang font, 25% off. Is, gagamit ay ng ang gusto ko is Montserrat. Uh, Montserrat. Once you're done, just click on Publish. Yan yung logo natin ay uh, papalitan din natin yan. Uh, gagawa lang ako siguro ng separate na tutorial about the Canva para palitan natin ang ating logo.
hindi ko gusto ang ating logo. So, hindi makikita yung logo, yung buy to cart pag uh, doon sa store page kasi iba ang kulay doon sa heading. Dito naman ay iba. So, hindi siya makikita. So, just go to customize and go to site identity and site logo. So, design. Actually, gumawa na ako ng uh, bagong logo at uh, minatch ko siya sa design ng uh, template para madali. So, pinalitan ko ang site icon. So, i-change natin ang image, mag-upload tayo ng try daw natin ng uh, bagong logo. Still not very good. So, hindi pa rin maganda. So, masyadong malaki. Pwede natin paliitan. Pero hindi pa rin siya makikita, no? Display site title. Inline logo with text. Medyo okay, pero hindi pa rin ako contento sa ating logo. Pwede kayo magpa-design sa mga designers ang logo na maganda. But if uh, gusto nyo ng sarili nyo, pwede nyo rin na uh, i-design sa Canva. So, bago ang kulay. So, dapat white ang kulay niyan kasi uh, i-try lang natin tingnan publish okay let's go back to our site and see okay so ito ang ating site hindi pa rin maganda no <laughs> nandun yung isa tanggalin natin yun go back to elementor Tanggalin natin yung isang uh, logo doon. Tanggalin natin yung isang ano na yan buy to cart but na hindi pa rin natatanggal yan yun pala nasa taas no? yun lang pala oh remove pinahirapan pa tayo ng marami ah yun lang pala yun actually for, uh, for me guys this is a learning experience for me kasi nga ay uh, itong Astra hindi ito ang ginagamit ko na theme kaya uh, it's a learning experience but overall pagka may idea ka na madali mo na siyang maano matututunan kahit anong theme pa yan basta may uh, basic knowledge how to design lalo na paggamit ang Elementor dapat gumamit talaga tayo ng Elementor now babaguhin din natin to sa home page kasi masyadong madikit yung yan yung button at saka yung heading. So, baguhin natin yan. Nagbigyan natin ng margin or padding. Go back to Elementor. I-click nyo lang yung heading. Go to style and then or go to advanced. 
i-unlink muna ang padding na bago ang kulay. Yung sa left side, o oh, yun, taasan natin konti. Para magkaroon siya ng space. Then, the 25% of honor products also. You need also to in line with the heading. Okay. Yes, I think that's enough. And the button. Bigyan natin siya ng space sa isa't isa. Then the shop now pick button I think that's it okay just save your work okay it's uh, already saved But nabago ang kanyang uh, text color. Punta tayo sa style at paguhin natin yung skandari niya na text color. Dapat ay white. Let's continue to edit our jump page in the next video. Uh, so that's it for now. Para hindi masyado mahaba ang ating tutorial. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Just follow our uh, next video tutorial para may continue ang ginawa natin na pag-set up ng e-commerce store.